That's kind of hard to see anything, so. I thought the engine ran on fire. Come on, give me the dark music box. Oh, you suck. Oh, well. What's that here? Probably a dead end. Not my luck. That's Hall of Mages, though. Or Priests, or whatever you want to call them. More chests. It should be the last two chests of this area. It's been add on and mirror unit. Which means the elevator is coming up. Okay. There it is. Crap. Since this is the last save point of this part, I'm going to go with the ruler horn. Since we are going to see the Libra King's sons, or son, whatever, according to the legend, there should be one up here. And I think I know which one it is. Nice sword. <laughs> Alright, we're at the top. Let's go talk to the prince, or whatever he is considered. What do you want? This is the King's Chamber. No place for commoners to be barging in. We're here by order of your father. The Libra King. Please, hear us out. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My dead father sent you here? So the dead are now recruiting the living. Or is this all my brother Logan's doing? Don't you see? The Libra King is no longer of this world. But neither are you. You've been dead for a long time. Your obsession with the throne prevents you from moving on. All you are now is a phantom, cursed to haunt this tower for eternity. Huh. Don't be absurd. Fine. Then take a look at this. What? That's my father's sword. Where did you get it? Oh, I see now. Logan went so far as to use father's name in his little scheme. An unforgivable folly! Pawns of Logan! I shall bury you all! In the name of the King! Alright, here we go. Be careful, he is really... Yeah. Sala. Stupid. I needed that. Attack him from a distance. His attack his powerful are attack. His uh, ah, his attacks are powerful. He can also teleport and calls up call up those war whirlwinds whenever he wants. You wanna attack from a distance like I do.
The angel's kiss probably would come in handy here. Thank you. Good. Perfect Reviver, Stealth Pills, and a lot of EXP. I felt my father's presence in that blade. It was as though he spoke to me with every strike. So, you deny me, father. I have lost myself in the pursuit of the throne. I was a poor excuse for a king. I am nothing compared to my father. Please, tell my brother Logan for me. Tell him the throne is his. And that he is the one fit to succeed our father. Alright, um, I'm going to head down to the base of the second tower, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> see you in a bit. Alright, I'm finally back. <laughs> I did a lot of things all off screen, a lot more than I probably should have. Um, where do I start? Okay. <clears throat> First off, I got a new toy, as you can see. This is, as soon as I can get to it... There it is. The Guard Axis. This is the ultimate form of the Ixion. It is already mastered. Yeah, that's its stats, by the way. <coughs> and as you can see, I have a lot less items. That is because I decide, you know what? Screw actually leveling up everyone. I decided to give everyone the closest thing to their ultimate weapon as I, as I can at this point in time. <coughs> and... Yeah, that's about it. Um... <coughs> The Depth Charger is here. This is required for one of for Steve's ultimate weapon. The net, the item we actually get to fuse with this is on a different pl on a different uh, area. <coughs> Same with the Spark Dragon Hatchet. Um, <laughs> Zegram's already mastered. Hey, look, mastered and mastered. <coughs> this is Kisala's best weapon for her her sub weapon. Really easy to make. Um, on uh, Alistelia, Alistelia, something like that. I went there off screen. Um, I'll post a video of it with it. <coughs> there is a special weapon called the Succubus uh, Slippers. <coughs> if you. Uh, how do I put this? <coughs> okay. If you fuse these, the Succubus Slippers, with Dancing Charmers, which are made through Wild Boots and Lovely Taps, both you can buy here on Zerard. <coughs> you get the Amnel Roses, which if you fuse two of, you get the Matriarch Roses EX. You already know about Snow Queens, and they're both mastered. Um, <coughs> also there. Both of Jupus's, uh, ultimate, both of the items required to make Jupus's ultimate main weapon and sub-weapon are found later in a shop. Um, the same goes with Lilica's bow and Steve's claws. Same is true about both of Simon's <coughs> weapons. The axe, the ultimate axe I can make before... Uh, a, in a little bit. I have to go through the next chapter, I believe. But the ultimate sub-weapon for Digo is on a... Um, in the same shop where I get everyone else's stuff. Oh, excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> if you go to Alstilia, there is uh, a lot of stuff there that you can fuse to make the uh, Ixion up to level three. <clears throat> but there's no level 41, which is what you do need to create the to create the guard axis. Here's how you make it. <laughs> you get you buy um an, two Alex deciders, which are on Rosa. You fuse them together to make a Phantom Slayer, or you can get the one that's already there that you get later in that area. If you use a phantom, a phantom Slayer with a Spirit Caliber, you get the Spirit Caliber from beating the boss on Alcilia to create an Admon Razor. If you use the Admon Razor with the Ixion 3 to get that. I also recommend making an Admon Razor just for, you know, future references for other 7-star swords. 
Yeah. <laughs> Technically, I have the materials to create another 7-star sword, but I did not want to go through the trouble of making all those swords again. So, we're going to stick with this. Anyway, uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. These are all the enemies that you fight on Alstilia. I have fought in each and every one of them up to this point. They are annoying. <laughs> anyway, let us actually continue on with what we're supposed to be doing. Um, Alastilia is a completely 100% optional area, and I do not remember that floating there. <laughs> anyway, completely 100% optional, you do not have to go there ever. But, I recommend doing it anyway for the Hunter record and just because you get nice shit. And look what I did just by going there. Anyway, the um, Guard Axis is basically a carbon copy of the Desert Seeker with some minor differences. <coughs> well, not minor. Like, for example, instead of setting enemies on fire, I can electrocute them. Yeah. And as you saw during the stat selection, they are... Um, uh, the element thing is different as well. Anyway, let us climb up this tower. <laughs> but yeah, you need to go to the right one this time. Unfortunately, there's no way to get to the top of the tower we're supposed to be going up to through the other one. Which is really weird because the other tower is where we need to end up anyway. But yeah, so far I have two characters weapon-wise mastered. Kisala and Zagram will never have a weapon that's better than what they currently have equipped. That I know of. Alright. And I like the guard axis. It's a pretty sword. Suck royally to be stabbed with, though. Ugh. Luckily, Jaster has no stabbing abilities. Does he? Hmm. <coughs> anyway, time to climb up this tower. You want to go this way. <coughs> you might want to roam around and get the, tre the treasure chests, but there's not really much that you can actually get that you will need. There are some, you know, uh, <coughs> there's some items that you do want, like dark music boxes or the uh, Nevlodon egg, <coughs> which a monster in Alstelia does drop. Very rarely. But he drops them. Is that a drop off? It is. Hmm. I'm not getting. Oh. <laughs> knew it was gonna happen, I just knew it. That's nice to see. <laughs> Everything mastered. <coughs> Alright. 